we'd like to present to you the next generation of RF technology. This is a picture of Jason's newest product, the Intracell RF Microneedle Workstation. The top right is a picture of Jason's handpiece. Below is the 49 microneedle tip. This is a specification chart of the Intracell. You can use bipolar mode and monopolar mode with only one handpiece. This image is the RF circuit diagram and needle structure of the Intracell tip. To the left is the arrangement of the needles. It can achieve bipolar mode as the left side is positive and the right side is negative. To the right shows the structure of the needle. This needle makes a 0.12 millimeter hole when inserted into the surface of the skin. The needles are insulated except for 0.3 millimeters at the tip where the RF energy is emitted. Accordingly, due to this needle structure, the machine is able to irradiate RF energy only to the target areas without producing thermal damage to the epidermis. When the needles are inserted into the skin, the non-insulated 0.3 millimeter tip will irradiate RF energy. The following diagram simplifies the principle of how the intracell works. First, place the handpiece against the epidermis. Second, the needles penetrate into the skin. Third, the intracell emits bipolar RF energy for a duration of 30 milliseconds to 100 milliseconds depending on the parameters set. This process takes only 0.2 seconds from insertion to emission. Fourth, the needles are retracted from the body after RF emission. The entire process of a single pulse takes less than 0.5 seconds. Intracell can be used for treatment anywhere on the face and body. It is effective for face lifting, wrinkles, pores, acne scars, scars, acne, and skin rejuvenation. Fractional lasers produce a lot of micro laser beams to penetrate into the skin. This induces dermal and epidermal recovery. The picture above shows the ideal concept of fractional lasers that form the shape of the columns, but in fact it appears to be the shape of an inverted triangle and not a column at all. Therefore it cannot avoid producing more surface damage the deeper the target area. This diagram shows the level of damage to the epidermis depending on the depth of the target area. The laser beam penetrates as an inverted triangle creating more damage to the epidermis the deeper the target area is into the skin. Many users are now realizing there are difficulties and limitations of lasers or fractional type lasers to treat deeply into the dermis without significant thermal damage to the skin surface. On the other hand, the newly introduced Intracell will help you to overcome those limitations. The Intracell tip has 49 needles in a 1 cm square area. The insulated needles can penetrate deeply into the skin without thermal damage to the skin surface. The Intracell's RF electrical energy turns into thermal energy and induces protein denaturalization. Micro holes created on the skin surface by the Intracell needles would avoid thermal damage, which minimizes side effects such as pigmentation. Intracell's needling will cut tangled collagen structure and help the wound healing process. By this process, the skin will recover with fresh and healthy collagen and elastin fibers. As intracell treatment involves this natural wound healing process, it could be combined with many other skin care programs. This is a comparison of cell structure between fractional laser systems currently in the market and the intracell. 1540 nanometer erbium glass uses high energy and induces 1.4 millimeter depth of protein denaturalization. But as it uses the epidermis as the energy pathway, it causes the side effects of burning and pigmentation. Thus to cause less trouble, the patients would need to be treated three to five times with lower energy. 2940 nanometer erbium YAG absorbs all the energy at the epidermis and therefore it destroys the epidermis and creates holes. It has certain limitations for treating epidermal trouble as it can only penetrate to 0.25 millimeters depth. 10,600 nanometer CO2 fractional laser is good to have both denatured protein and peeling. However, it showed substantially low efficacy and has a long downtime of more than one week because it also creates holes and epidermal damage as it uses the epidermis as the pathway for the energy. On the other hand, the intracell RF microneedle is effective for creating denatured protein and causes collagen reproduction without any thermal damage to the epidermis. 
The Intracell brings nice efficacy from one to three treatments without the side effects of thermal damage on the skin surface as it does not use the epidermis as the energy pathway. This picture is after bipolar irradiation. You may recognize the circled protein denatured areas where the needles were inserted. Also, the undenatured protein areas between the needles help to promote the wound healing process. The picture on the right shows a close-up view of the needles. This graph shows the relationship between the output energy and the emission time. The intracell's energy levels, 1 to 5, are within the B to D range. This will provide an output energy that is safe and effective. The patients will have no problem getting a comfortable treatment with the use of local anesthesia. This picture shows the difference in changes between CO2 fractional laser and the intracell. As you can see, the treated area of the CO2 is in the shape of an inverted triangle. Therefore, the epidermis gets more energy when the target is deeper into the tissue. However, with the intracell, you can selectively treat the target area without creating any damage to the epidermis. The micro needle is as thin as a hair. It penetrates the skin and emits RF energy from the 0.3 millimeter tip. On the right, the denatured areas are indicated by the dotted lines. This is a cell picture dyed by H and E. The purple color is the denatured area. We can see the effect of 100% of the energy emitted into the dermis. This is two days after treatment at a depth of 0.8 millimeters. An area of 1,054 micrometers of denatured protein is measured at one millimeter in depth. This is two days after treatment at a depth of 1.5 millimeters. Denatured protein can be seen at a depth of 1.6 millimeters. The intracell can allow you to treat different target areas by selectively choosing the treatment depths. The image on the right shows a yellowish area by Van Giesenstein. It is the denatured area. You can only find the collagen denatured area in the dermis. Confer the Van Giesenstein is a mixture of phytic acid and acid fruxin. It is the simplest method of differential staining of collagen and other connective tissue. It was introduced to histology by American psychiatrist and pathologist Ira Van Giesen. You can clearly see the denatured protein zone after two days. In this picture, the purple color of the denatured zone is obviously diminished 14 days from the baseline. In the image on the right, the purple color of the denatured zone is diminished to the size of a small dot 28 days from the baseline. In this picture, you cannot find the purple color of the denatured zone. 70 days from the baseline, the wound healing process is completed. These are electrophoresis results after RT-PCR testing. 13 gene expressions are observed and measured after treatment at energy level 2 and energy level 3 of the intracell. If the band is bold and wide, you can see more gene revelations. Overall, level 3 shows more improvement than level 2, so you can find more gene expression at level 3. Thus, higher energy levels cause more damage and in turn create a stronger wound healing process and cell recovery. The following slides contain before and after photos of various treatments performed with the intracell system. The duck was quacking, the duck was laughing, the duck was dancing by the water quack quack quack, the rhythm made him think he ought to quack quack, he was dancing to the samba, the samba, the samba, oh goose oh. The goose was gaining passing by honk honk honk, he stopped and gave the dance a try honk honk. Bossa Nova had been dancing, the new thing, the new swing. Then a lovely swan swam by in all her majesty, and she loosened up. Coochie coochie goo did that swan. She joined the duck and goose and did the samba too. You should have seen the kind of samba she could do. They did the samba so long they all fell right in the water. While they were singing away, quack quack. Quack, 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 quack,
Vinha tentando alegremente Queen, queen Quando uma régua sorridente Pediu Para entrar também no samba No samba, no samba O canso Gostou da dupla fez também Queen, queen, queen Olhou pro cinza e disse assim Vem, vem Que o quarteto ficará bem Muito bom, muito bem Na beira da lagoa Fora a ensaiar Para começar O tico, tico No fubá a voz do pato era mesmo de secado Jogou de sino com um canso era mato Mas eu gostei do final quando caí na água E assanhando o um vocal Quen, 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 quen Quen, 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 quen Quen, 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 o pato So well. 